think a lot about memories. The way we capture pieces of time, tucking them into ourselves like treasures. I am five, I sit in the backyard of my grandmother's house, I am imagining a world beyond the wall of trees and she is in the kitchen finishing breakfast, starting on lunch while keeping an eye on dinner in this moment. There is a rare silence before her home will open its arms to anyone willing to take their shoes off on the way in. They call this a jungle, but I have only ever felt safe here, so I bottle up the smell of bami, aki, saltfish, and growing grass pulling out the vials of my childhood to inhale on cold winter days. Seven, I am dancing in the arteries of Queen's Park, my locks almost as long as my limbs fanning around me. My brother's laughter fills the air at the same time the drums rustle the trees and the grills hiss as they exhale, it is hard to capture the cacophonous joy of festival filling city, if only for a weekend, but I attempt to recall the harmonious buzz in my many July silences. I am 10 and I decide that I will never witness anything as beautiful as my mother wrapped up in Easter white, her face glowing, bathed in a thousand candles I weave hearts out of palm leaves and chant ingies long after my last communion. You see, I tried writing a poem about happiness, about pride, about excellence, and I realized the language that I speak has not given me the words worthy of our praise. It has a fickle memory that has never been accountable to this tongue. So instead, I recall the beauty of sunlight dancing against mahogany cheek. I let my body remember how to move in tandem with the thrum of feathers. I cling to the flavor of the air around the people I love. They smell like cocoa butter or sandalwood or frankincense or Saturdays. And is this not happiness? I think as I imagine my body becoming full with this nostalgic euphoria. Is this not pride? I wonder. Tears springing to my eyes as I imagine filling a room with my cousins. What is excellence, if not this? Weaving gold out of memory. Finding magic in the moments we didn't know would be magical because... We were far too busy living. I remember a version of me that believed I would never love. 
But I have always been defiant at the core and so It should be no surprise that I love easily and deeply Getting lost in what I thought I couldn't have and have always deserved I love unrestrained Rebelling against love in words but not in action, I try to do so selflessly. Try to love with every part of me, and I do not know what to do when I am too much or not enough traumatized, perhaps, by selfish love. And I am only now learning how to say no, how to ask for more. How to be okay with selflessness unreturned. Now I have already proven to myself that I am no tin man. I do not need to stand in the fire to feel. I know I will melt and burn. Do not need to show proof of life. My heart is beating. I can feel it breathing or breaking or singing out into the universe that I exist. I have spent a quarter of a lifetime looking for something to live for. Trying to find a reason for my continued being and Isolation is a loss of innocence, but I exist regardless. Because of or in spite of me, my heart keeps beating and I allow it. Or better yet, I will it. And its existence is only based on the love it feels for itself. And it whispers to me that it is tired of me asking for a reason. It tells me I do not need to be missed to stay. Do not need to prove I am worthy of any space. It exists and tells me I have always been love, even when I'm alone. This morning, I stayed in bed and wondered if my duvet could be categorized as a false idol. I worship at the altar of my own dreams and comfort. And by worship, I mean respect. I mean work in devotion of. I mean adorn with sunlight and fauna. Let this place that holds me be worthy of all this beautiful vulnerability. Let it be both soft and firm. 
and let me open my eyes each morning in joy. Give thanks for waking up today. Know it is okay if I do not step away from this altar today. I am deserving of being held. Or I would like to believe I am deserving of being held. So I will hold myself even in a world that tells me it's not true.